The Consumer Electronics Show is now underway in Las Vegas, and every year it shows off what are supposed to be the coolest new gadgets we're all going to want. Mm. But for every success, there are spectacular failures. Spectacular. WBC's John Keller looks at some of the biggest flops and some questionable newcomers. What is this guy doing? Don't ask. He's just part of the scene at the annual Consumer Electronics Show, or CES, showcasing the latest in tech since 1967. The current shindig in Vegas features America's favorite gadget, the car. Who wouldn't want a vehicle that parks sideways? Also on Showcase, new takes on tech that's been with us for a while, like robots to make our lives easier, and wearables to measure the stress of our easier lives. But sometimes the CES offers innovation we really didn't know we needed. Sick of your cat dragging dead critters into your home? Fear no more. The flappy, intelligent cat flap is here. Every time that your cat wants to enter the door, it scans its face. And so as soon as it detects prey, it immediately locks the door. Don't stick a finger in this grill. It cooks at 1,650 degrees because you want that steak or burger right now. Am I right? In about 90 seconds, you'll get the best, most juiciest food you've ever tried tasted. You won't see past CES sensations like hoverboards or curved TVs at this year's show. Turns out it's no fun watching curved TV. And those hoverboards had a nasty habit of blowing up. It recognizes and also it tells you what species it's visiting. For bird watchers who don't want to go outside, we guess. But isn't that the point of bird watching? I don't think that a lot of the startups we're seeing this year will make it. Now, I, wow. let me just interject here. Uh, it's never happened before, but I could be wrong. There might be a market for a device that keeps Fluffy from dragging her critter kill and coming outside. <laughs> Into your house. There may be. There may yeah. be. Yeah. Everyone's just trying, and they want that next big thing. Yeah, well, there's a lot of money at stake, yeah. no question about it. But just because you can create some new technology, that doesn't mean you should. Yeah. The Jetsons promised us moving sidewalks, and we're nowhere near that at this point. No, <laughs> and as a kid who owned a ColecoVision uh, versus an Atari, <laughs> I sympathize with all the failures at the CES. I want to see a picture of you playing that ColecoVision. <laughs> Thank right. you, John. Sure.